Hello everyone and welcome to my Autodesk Revit tutorial. In today's Autodesk Revit tutorial, I'll be showing you how to draw in a custom staircase like this over here. So if you're interested in watching this tutorial, I'd like you to hit the like button and share this tutorial and subscribe for more Autodesk Revit tutorials like this. And without further ado, let's get started. So right now I've opened up a new Revit file. It is a structural template file. You can actually use any other template if you want. You can use an architectural one. It's up to you. But in this case, I've opened up a structural template and I'll show you how to do it. So first things first, you should click on the architecture tab over here and select the line model tool over here. So the purpose of using the line drawing tool is to draw the layout for our staircase. So in the intro, my staircase is about five and a half meters long. So I just keyed in 5,500 millimeters there. And the width is 1,000 millimeters or one meter. Like so. And I'll bring it down here and close it up. And the first part of the step is about one meter wide over here. Like so. And I will split it in half diagonally. And then I will space out the individual steps by about 300 millimeters here. So the fastest way is to hit escape twice. Select these two lines by holding down control and left clicking. And click on copy over here. And I'll just copy them out like so. Okay, so I've already copied out this line from over here to over here. So let's proceed with the next step. Click on the stair button over here. And under the run option over here, click on the create sketch button over here. So we should draw the boundaries out first. And we should only draw them on the left and the right. But not this part over here. And I'll explain why. The reason why you don't want to draw a boundary here is because this is where your first step will begin. And actually I should draw another boundary right over here. Like so. So since the first step would be over here, so we need to draw a riser over here instead. Same goes for the top over here. And now let's draw the rises out according to the lines that we've drawn out over here in between the boundary lines. So let me just quickly finish this up. And now that I've already finished drawing in the risers, we must define the stair path. So I will start from over here to over here and draw from this middle point over here all the way up to over here and click on finish edit mode over here you can see that the stair is in the wrong orientation it should be starting from over here and ending at the top so it should be going from bottom to top over here you can easily fix this issue just by clicking on flip over here like so and should you wish to edit the stair itself just click on it over here and click on edit sketch and you can edit the sketch once again. In this case, I will not be editing the sketch anymore. So I will click on the green arrow over here and I'll click on the green arrow again. And you can just ignore this issue here. This is about the railings only for now. And I'll click on the 3D view. All I need to do is Click on the light bulb over here and select it and unhide by category. So you must do this if you are in the structure template. And I can just select this staircase over here and change it to monolithic stair like so. And this is our monolithic staircase over here. 
that's custom. And that's it for today's Autodesk Revit tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, like this tutorial and subscribe for more interesting Revit tutorials like this. And as always, stay safe, keep learning, and goodbye.